things that way crooks Scared to death and scared to look like that Cause ain't no such thing as that way crooks Scared to death and scared to look like that What's going on guys, it's Nick Wright from NWB. We are like five and a half or six weeks out or something like that from the Muscle Beach Championships. I have been so busy to the point, I've never ever experienced this, where I have been able to get to the gym all of three times last week and literally once this week. I did chest last Sunday and then that's it. I've been able to work out besides abs all week and it is now Saturday. And the one day I finally do get off, what happens? I am burnt. Worse than I've ever been sunburnt in my life. It was the first beach day of the season yesterday. This is like, I have not been able to put on a t-shirt all day kind of a sunburn. I'm going to try so hard to get a workout in today. I'm going to do like a full training circuit. All movements that don't involve touching anything. No benches, no laying down or anything. I'm kicking it off and I'm going to jump into this bad boy with N0 Extreme by Cellucor. It's the new pre-workout. You guys saw me do a whole entire spiel on why I'm switching on to this and what it's all about on my other channel. Crazy hard hitting energy, extreme pump, and basically you have beta alanine and branched chain amino acids in it for muscle recovery and muscle growth. It's creatine free, sugar free, so it's a crazy pre-workout. If you guys want to try this out yourself, cellucor.com, use NWB as your team discount code. That will take 20% off N0, it will take 20% off C4, Super HD. Everything and anything on SellyCore.com. Guys, we're going to get to it and see what we can bang out. Roasted to a crisp. So normally when you do dips, you keep your elbows pinned close against your sides so you target your triceps, right? Well, today I actually kicked off my chest workout with a variation of dips. Wide elbowed dips. This is where you keep your elbows flared way out to either side of you. And this variation will actually activate your pectorals and work your chest out just like a decline bench press would. It's an amazing chest workout that most beginners don't even realize can work your chest. I followed that up with a variation of inverted push-ups. I like using the dumbbells because I feel wrapping your arm, I mean wrapping your hands around something really allows you to kind of focus and zero in on working the chest muscle. A little bit better than keeping them flat against the surface. So the first half of the set I did with my butt hanging downward and this put my chest at a decline angle. Halfway through the set I kicked my butt up in the air adding a little bit more core into this exercise but also making it more of a flat bench angle really activating the pectorals the key is nice slow negatives and a good strong squeeze and contraction at the top that's what makes this exercise so painful I did as many reps as I could and I did three sets of that I kicked off my back training with bent over double arm dumbbell rows. You can't do these with a whole lot of weight, especially if you're not using a bench to support yourself with. And again, I'm sunburned, so I can't. I used 45 pound dumbbells and I planted my heels with all the weight on them, my butt out and my chest out, which ensured my back stayed nice and straight with a natural arch to it. And you'll see I'm keeping my elbows pinned close against my sides and I'm rowing my hands backwards into my belt area. I'm not just rowing them straight up and down against my chest. Keeping your arms pinned close to your sides and rolling your hands back like you're starting a chainsaw instead of just up and down is going to ensure that you don't accidentally hit your rear delts and you stay focused on blowing up your lats, giving you a thick, wide back. For rows, I drop the bar just below my knees to get a good stretch. that does it for back I kicked it into shoulder training standing dumbbell shoulder presses I didn't use a whole lot of weight in this and I made sure I kicked my elbows forward having your elbows forward like that is gonna allow the weight to stay 100% on the muscle and not on your rotator cuff. Bringing your elbows back to either side of you, parallel with your ears, is what actually puts tension on your rotator cuff and you don't want it on that. Doing them standing like this will actually allow for some, uh, some slight core strength as well as overall stamina. Three sets of that. And there's my roommate Nick Ferraro. The kid's only 18. 
He hasn't been training for a whole lot of time, but he's been on Hunt Fitness's diet plan and training with me, of course, and he's made insane progress. And honestly, he's a blessing to have around the house, supports NWB, and gets me fired up to train on days like these when I did not want to lift the weight. We always get a little party going on in this basement. For laterals, I was doing a mix. My typical standing lateral raises with my arms extended outward, and then a variation that WMBF world's champion Luis Santiago showed me. Having my arms close to my shoulders like this with, the, with that spin on it really helps round off my side delts. And then I fatigue it and burn out with, once again, my extended arm version, which really helps me get a slight row at the top of the motion, which is going to allow me to contract and target my rear delts as well. Doing three sets of that will kill you. And then I just killed shoulders altogether with three sets of bent over lateral raises. This, of course, will fire up and target the very backs of your shoulders. You fart. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Chris Jones and Vince of POG. We're doing curves for the girls today. Getting the cuts for the sluts. Doing the rows for the hoes. What else? Pecs <laughs> for sex. sex. Only did like one pec workout, though. Sorry, it only takes one peck anyways. Good roll. Look at a little lobstery there. A little red. <laughs> Alright. Two! Straight barbell curls have always been my favorite bicep builder. They hit both heads of the bicep and they allow you to go heavy on them, so it's just complete mass building for your arms. Keeping your elbows pinned close against your side is important for these because if you try to bring the bar up towards your chin, you're actually just going to start using your shoulders way too much. Keep it all in your biceps, and the key to building biceps because they're such a small muscle group is a really slow negative. You don't need a whole lot of volume for biceps because they're a small muscle group. Two to three exercises max. Keep it simple, keep it heavy, slow controlled negative. It's always a party in my basement, honestly. We have we either have a bunch of meatheads just all lifting or or we have like the girlfriends hanging out with us down there. It, it's just crazy. It's always a party down there. It's it's honestly one of the most inspirational spots. It's kinda like um the Gold's Gym back in Arnold Schwarzenegger's Pump and Iron video. It's just it's always a, it's always an event. I kill the arms today with dips. Now this time, I'm keeping my elbows close together to activate the triceps, not the chest. I did 25, 35 reps. I did three sets, as many as I could. It's the only exercise I could actually do for triceps since my back was actually too burnt to lift my arms up. In a tight situation now, take these words home and think it through. For the next time, I'm right. Rub it on, rub it on. <laughs> So I think the case is closed, everybody. If it fits in your macros, dieting does work well. I've been able to successfully eat everything from pizza to cheeseburgers, even ice cream with the girlfriend, up to four weeks out. And I can do it daily. The key is to make majority of your diet quality, whole, clean foods. I still eat a lot of brown rice, potato, chicken, steak. But I'm able to throw in those fun foods anytime I want and still get shredded. I don't have to designate them as specific cheat days where I step outside my diet. So at four weeks out, Hunt Fitness is doing a great job. He just gave me the diet update, dropped me down to 2,198 calories, looking at 216 grams of protein, um, 167 grams of carbs, and 74 grams of fats for my normal low days. And I still get a couple of refeed days in there, which kicked me up to 2,500 calories and almost 400 grams of carbs. So I'm still eating. Subscribe, guys. Just trying to get the sport of bodybuilding out there.